Hey everyone, it's Vikas here and welcome back to WD Labs. Today we have got an exciting new video centered around node rate and energy monitoring. Energy monitoring is a crucial aspect of any smart home. It provides us with valuable insights into our energy consumption and allows us to automate our devices based on this data, ultimately helping us conserve energy. In this video, we'll dive into the process of creating a single channel power outlet using an ESP8266 module with Tasmoda firmware. To measure energy consumption, we'll be using HLW8012 single fetch energy monitoring module. This module provides a variable frequency output proportional to the input voltage and current, and Tasmoda firmware has built in support for this energy monitoring IC. Any ESP8266 module plus with the standard Tasmoda firmware should work with the HLW8012 model. You might find similar smart plugs on the market, but if you are looking to do it yourself, this video is all for you. Not only is, is it a cost effective solution, but it also gives you complete control over your setup. Being said that, let's get started guys. The connections to be made are pretty simple and straightforward. The HLW8012 energy monitoring module needs 3 fin to interface with the VMOS. The pins are namely SEL, CF1 and CF. The SEL or select pin is the input one to the HLW8012 module. However, CF1 and CF are the output pins. Those three pins can be connected to any digital pin of the VMOS module. Along with that, to the VMOS module, I have also connected one transistor that will control one relay and with couple of other components like one current limit register and one free wheeling diode along with the relay. We just need to make these connections and we'll flash the Wemos with Tasmota and later we'll get back to the Tasmota configuration to configure the HLW8012 module in Tasmota along with the relay to be controlled. After the ESP8266 module or Wemos over here is flashed with Tasmota and is connected to the Wi-Fi network, we can get it to the model and configure the HLW8012 to interact with it. To do that, just get into configuration, uh, go into configuration model, select generic. Now we need to configure the GPIOs that are connected to HLW8012 and the relay. So for HLW8012, I'll go with D6 that is connected to the SEL pin. So I'll just search for actual. Yep. Then the D7 is connected to the CF1 pin. So yeah. And the D8 pin is connected to the CF pin. So select this. Okay. And for relay, I've connected it to the D4 pin. So this selection basically depends where you have connected the energy monitoring module and the relay. So I'll go relay one, save it. We also need one more configuration that will enable the test motor to spit out this data into MQTT topics. So basically we need to configure MQTT and I'll go with my MQTT broker connection information the user and the password i'll keep everything else default safe now one more thing we need to get into configuration logging and we'll change this default telemetry interval to 60 seconds safe now we can already see the data are getting fetched from the HLW8012 module and being displayed here like the voltage, current and the power. If I toggle the load then this should become zero. Now let's get to the console. Okay, it is saying connection failed. Let me do that again. Now let's get to 
console and you can see it is already publishing the data to this particular topic and in sensor basically you can see all the available energy parameters like voltage current and power now we'll try to consume this data that is available here in node red also we would try to control the relay from node red in node red we'll start with the mqtt node so we'll do mqtt in this will let us you know get the energy data from the task motor device so i'll create a broker connection and in topic we'll copy the topic from the test motor device so we'll take this topic paste it here and we'll leave everything as it is okay here we'll just make it pass station object and we'll add a debug node so that we can see what sort of data that is coming from the device so you just need to wait till the device publish some data that would be visible here in the debug console in the meantime i will just create a function node that would let us spit out the energy voltage current and power data so over here i will go with four outputs and get the data now here data dot voltage is the voltage so i'll also add another one that would be current and another one for power and one more for the total energy okay so we are getting out for this now uh, and okay so we just need to make it data dot change now let's wait a couple of seconds and you can see we are getting the voltage the current i think here then we should get power and total energy consumed here so if i spit out everything like this we should have four different data points and yep the voltage current power and the kilowatt hour or energy consumed till now so you can uh, further take these values and you can use in your uh, further process like you can store it to n plus db or any other database if you're looking for tutorial around like storing data and all that you can check out my earlier videos on this i'll give the link down below in the description now another part of it is to control the relay that is connected to that we'll start with a mqt out topic and here i'll just pick up the topic for the module actually so let's go here console Okay, now we need to take 
press on I think uh, just a second press and just replace this with the command and keep everything default that should be okay now we create a inject node and here instead of timestamp we'll just send a string on nothing else change this to off and we'll connect this to this and now when we will publish the data to the particular topic the status of the module should change according let's say we do off now if you see it will get into off state and we and when we publish on it should get into on state so that's how you can control and interact with the test motor module and you can also fetch the energy data from hlw 12 module using test motor to node right so that's all guys uh, that's all about it hope it would help you if so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for videos like this see you next time with our next video till then goodbye